we are already done discussing how to compute for the quartiles of ungrouped data. So in this lesson, we will be discussing how to compute the quartiles for the group data. So let's have an example. These are the scores of the students of G10 Pythagoras in a 40-item math test. So there are 50 students who took the exam. So we need to construct the frequency distribution table. So I will not I will not be discussing the frequency distribution table in this lesson because we have already discussed it on our previous video. So let's now discuss the steps on how to calculate the first quartile or the lower quartile. So the first step is to construct the cumulative frequency distribution. And then after that, you need to decide the class that contain the quartile 1 or the quartile 1 class. And then to, in deciding that, quartile 1 class is the first class with the value of cumulative frequency equal or greater than n over 4. And then our formula in finding quartile 1 will be quartile 1 is equal to lower boundary of the quartile 1 class plus quantity n over 4 minus f where in f is equal to the cumulative frequency before the quartile 1 class all over the frequency of the quartile 1 class times i which is the class width or the interval. So let's now calculate the value of the quartile 1 or the lower quartile. So we will be constructing the frequency distribution table. So we need the class interval. So class interval has two parts, the lower limit and the upper limit. And then after that, you will get the interval or the class width, which is equal to 5. And then after that, you will get the frequency. So I have already count all the frequency. So then you will add add the total number of frequencies. So we have 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 12 is 28. 28 plus 13 is 41. 41 plus 3 is 44. And then 44 plus 6 is equal to 50. So this will be the number of students who took the exam and then you will get the class boundary so the lower class boundary so all you need to do is to subtract the lower mid limit the value of the lower limit minus 0 0.5 so 7 minus 0 0.5 will be 6.5 12 minus 0.5 will be 11.5 17 minus 0.5 is 16.5 22 minus 0.5 is 21.5 27 minus 0.5 will be 26.5 and then after that 32 minus 0.5 will be 31.5 and then 37 minus 0.5 will be equal to 36.5 and then last one will be to compute the less than cumulative frequency so in computing the less than cumulative frequency you will start at the first class so our first class is this class so we have 7 to 11, 3, 6.5, and 3. So this row will be the first class. So all you need to do is to copy the frequency of the first class to the less than cumulative frequency. So you'll copy 3. And then after that, 3 plus 7 will be equal to 10. 10 plus 6 will be equal to 16. 16 plus 12 will be equal to 28. 28 plus 13 will be equal to 41. 41 plus 3 will be equal to 44. And then 44 plus 6 will be equal to 50. So these are the data we need in computing the lower quartile or the quartile 1. And then after that, you will use the formula in finding the quartile 1 class. So, which is equal to n over 4. So, all you need to do is to substitute the value of n. Substituting the value of n, we have 50 divided by 4 will be equal to 12.5. So, quartile 1 class is equal to 
Ay, remember, quarterly one class must be equal or greater than the value of the less than cumulative frequency. So, if the quartile 1 class is 12.5, we will look at the less than cumulative frequency which is equal or greater than 12.5. So, 3 is not equal or greater than, so this is less than. 10 is also less than. So, 16 is the one which is greater than 12.5. So, quartile 1 class is in the third class which is 16. So, our, our quartile 1 class is in the third class. And then after that, we will use the formula in finding the quartile or the lower quartile. So, we have quartile 1 is equal to the lower boundary of the quartile 1 class plus n over 4 minus f all, all over the frequency of the quartile 1 class times the interval. So, we will substitute lower boundary. So, we will look at the third class because it is the quartile 1 class. So, here is the quartile 1 class 17 to 21, 6, 16.5, 16. So, this row. So, yung the lower boundary, lower class boundary in the third class is 16.5. So, all we need to do is to substitute this value in the equation or in the formula. And then after that, n will be equal to 50. So, this one will be equal to 50. Then, divide it by 4 minus the frequency before the quartile 1 class or the less than cumulative frequency before the quartile 1 class in which the quartile 1 class the less than cumulative frequency of quartile 1 class is in the third class which is equal to 16 so before so meaning to say the cumulative frequency before the quartile 1 class is equal to 10 F will be equal to 10 all over the frequency of the quartile 1 class so here in the third class so the frequency is equal to 6 so you will just substitute 6 times the class width or the interval which is equal to 5 so I is equal to 5 substitute it here and then after that we will simplify Quartile 1 is equal to 16.5 plus 50 divided by 4 is 12.5 minus 10 all over 6 times 5. And then 16.5 bring it down plus so 12.5 minus 10 is 2.5. Then 2.5 divided by 6. Then you will multiply the answer by 5. The answer will be equal to 2.08. Adding these two numbers, 16.5 plus 2.08 will be equal to 18.58. So the value of quartile 1 is equal to 18.58. So we will not compute for the value of the quartile 2 because the value of the quartile 2 is the same as the value of the median. So if you know how to compute the median, then you will also know or you know how to compute also for the value of the quartile 2. So let's have the steps in computing the quartile 3 or the upper quartile. So again, the first step is to construct the cumulative frequency distribution. And then after that, that, decide the class that contain the quartile 3 class. And then, in finding the quartile 3 class, it is the first class with the value of cumulative frequency, which is equal or greater than 3n over 4. We will use the formula, wherein n is equal to the total frequency, f is the cumulative frequency before the quartile 3 class, and then f sub m is equal to the frequency of the quartile 3 class. And then L sub Q is equal to the lower class boundary of the quartile 3 class. And then I is equal to the class width or the interval. So let us now calculate the value of the quartile 3. So we will use the frequency distribution table we have constructed earlier. So here are the data again. And then after that, we will calculate the quartile 3 class using the formula 3n over 4. All you need to do is to substitute the value of n which is equal to 50. 
So that makes it 3 times 50 is equal to 150. Then divide it by 4 will be equal to 37.5. So the quartile T class is equal to 37.5. And then after that, so we have to determine the quartile T class. So quartile T class must be equal to 37.5 or greater than 37.5. So we will look at the less than cumulative frequency. So this one, 3 is less than 37.5. 10 is less than 37.5. 16 is less than 28 is less than 37.5. And 41 is greater than 37.5. So therefore, the class that contains the quartile 3 class is on the fifth class. So this one first, second, third, fourth, fifth class. So quartile three, three class is in the fifth class. So after determining the quartile three class, you will use the formula in finding the quartile three or the upper quartile. Quartile three is equal to the lower boundary of the quartile three class plus quantity three n over four minus frequency all over the frequency minus the less than cumulative frequency rather all over the frequency of the quartile 3 class times the interval and all you need to do is to substitute the value the lower boundary of the quartile 3 class is 26.5 so it is on the fifth class so at this row so you will look at the value of the lower class boundary on the pit class which is equal to 26.5 and then after that you will substitute the value of n which is equal to 50 and then the value of f is the less than cumulative frequency before the quartile 3 class so if the quartile 3 class the less than cumulative frequency of the quartile 3 class is equal to 41 the value before it is equal to 28. So this one will be the value of F all over the frequency of the quartile class, quartile 3 class. So quartile 3 class is in the fifth class, so its frequency is equal to 13 times the class width, which is equal to 5. And then after that, you will simplify, so bring down 26.5, 3 times 50 is 150, then divided by 4 is 37.5, minus 28 all over 13 times 5. Then bring down 26.5, then subtract 37.5 minus 28, that, that is equal to 9.5, and then 9.5, divide it by 13, then multiply it or multiply the answer by 5 so the answer is 3.65 so adding these two numbers 26.5 plus 3.65 the answer is equal to 30.15 so the value of the upper quartile or quartile 3 is equal to 30.15